Hi kids, so I'm going to show you how to finish your weaving once you have everything all woven on and I'm going to demonstrate how you can do di different various things with your weaving once you're finished. Um, it takes a little planning. You want to know if you're going to make um, a wall hanging, a bookmark, or maybe a cuff bracelet. So think about what you want to do and then follow the directions. Um, I stopped here because I thought that this was long enough. Um, I was thinking I would make it into a bracelet. Um, and before we want to do that, we want to really scrunch all of our threads together by doing one final combing. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to kind of stick the fork in between some of the layers just to move a little bit at a time. You can be pretty firm with this. They're not going to go anywhere and you won't break anything with your plastic fork. So I've got that condensed and now I'm going to take this off of the loom. You can do that by just snipping all of the ends. Like that. And doing that on the other side. You can also take off the tape. And then this will just lift off because the tension is gone. Okay, so let's sort this out. I'm just going to pull that out and trim that off. Get your threads laying flat. And I'm going to go ahead and just tie these to each other. So find a pair of threads. You're going to double knot. One. And two. And you'll feel the resistance of the yarn as you're tying down. And just go ahead and stop um, tying when it starts to kind of push back a little bit. When it feels like it's firm. One and two. One and two. So that's all finished. I'm going to switch it around to the other side. And I'm going to turn this into a wall hanging. So I have a couple things, a couple options. You could use a popsicle stick. That's plenty. Um, a coffee stir could work. You could just trim it down with your scissors. You could use an actual twig that you find outside to give it a little more of a rustic look. All of those are good solutions. So the, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just lift up every other thread and put that in the stick in between those threads so that I can tie that into it. I'm going to get this purple thread in there too. No, I'm not. Let me get that out of there. So to do this, it's a little bit of a different feel, but you're going to tie that into your weaving. Again, I'm double knotting, one and two, keeping your weaving flat on your desk or table is a great idea, so you can keep track of your different yarn pieces, your warp threads. And then my last one is these two. 
So one needs to go under and one needs to go over the stick to capture it. And I'm going to double knot that. Now that that's in, I can sort of make the adjustments and get the stick laying flat the way I want it. And if I notice any knots that have come a little loose from that, I'll just go ahead and tie those again. Once you have everything tied firmly, I'm going to give this a triple, a triple knot. And you can trim these ends off. Just lay them out. And you can snip those off. And that goes for these two. So these are all snugly um, in the weaving at this point. So you can just get really close without touching your weaving, laying your scissors flat as close to your weaving as you can, keeping the blades away from your finished piece. You can trim off all of those extra pieces of yarn.